Hi, this is George. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a Golden Desert Sky rock painting. This is a cosmetic blending brush. We'll use it later on to blend the paints. The stone has already been prepared by applying a couple of layers of Liquitex matte medium. This first layer of paint is a combination of Liquitex primary yellow and primary red. Just paint it on however you like. Don't worry about where it's going and how it's blending. We'll take care of that in a bit. Have fun with the paint. And then using the blending brush, what you want to do is, in a circular fashion, swirl it around, blend the paints. Allow the paints to completely dry before going on to the next step, which is this one. What we're doing now is adding the second layer using the paints used before, the Liquitex Primary Yellow and Primary Red. As you're laying in the paints, don't think about what I'm doing and if you're not doing it the right way or whatever. You're doing it the way you're doing it. Have fun with it. There's no wrong or right way to do it. You might want to pick up a little bit of white, put it down, see where it goes. You may want to use a little yellow, red, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just have fun doing it. We're going to use the blending brush again, but this time we're going to use it to apply a little bit of paint, the white, yellow, and red. As a note, each rock painting that I do is brand new to me. This is going to be the first time I will be painting any of these stones. I know what I want to paint, I just don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Again, don't worry about how you're painting. Use whatever colors you want, combination, mix it together. This is only going to be one layer. We're going to be putting on another layer on top of this, so it doesn't really matter. What you want to do is just have some color down, um, vary it out throughout the, the piece. For example, you want a little bit of orange, mix it with yellow and white and uh, some red. Not a lot of red, because red goes a long way. Having said that, I'm applying a lot of red here. What I'm going to do though, however, is apply a little bit of white and yellow and a little bit of purple and blend everything out together. I'm using this red as a base coat. Most colors in acrylics are transparent, with the exception of maybe white and some browns and black. One of the joys of working with acrylics is the ability to lay layer upon layer upon layer. It's like with cooking. Each spice you add to a dish adds a level of taste and complexity. Next we're going to use cosmetic blending sponges. They're easy to use and they're really inexpensive. To use a blending sponge, what you do is you go to the areas that are still wet and blot out the areas, blending them up and down, sideways, however it takes to get rid of the hard edges. To introduce more paint with a blending brush, what you want to do is that working with small sections and one, one or two colors, just mix it together. Don't worry about cleaning your sponge between colors. What you want to do is, in some cases, allow the mixed paints together to uh, create a whole new color. Cosmetic blending sponges offer subtle 
soft and gentle blends. So they're great at, at blending. You can gradually increase the amount of color that you introduce. You can have a lot or a little. Just blend it out. You can have fun with it. A disclaimer. The materials that I use are the ones that work for me. I'm not being paid and not don't have a sponsorship in using any of the materials that I have. They just work for me. Today's question. Have you ever used cosmetic makeup sponges in your painting process? Leave your comments below. I'd really like to hear about your experiences. Both yellow and red are very transparent colors. But if you want to add another layer of transparency, what you can do is add a little bit of water, not much. Using a combination of yellow and red, in whatever combination you want, apply a thin coat on the complete surface of the stone to unify the sky. We're going to add more layers to the uh, painting. However, I want you to make a note. Whenever you apply white into the mix, white is very opaque. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be shortcutting the translucency of the underlying layers. So you need to be careful in how, many, how much white you actually use. As with using red, White goes a very, very long way. This is part of my rock painting background series. Now this desert sky painting can stand by itself and can be considered done when it's finished. However, you can also apply it to 
a stone that you want to have as this is the background and then you can point paint something on top of it as a main focal point for example you can use this uh, background as a setting for a silhouette painting or in the case of this stone I'm planning on painting a cactus which by the way will be the next painting in my channel so look for it but once you have the background the uh, specifics and the format and the principle behind it you can change it up for example if you want to do a, a sky with different colors you can do that for example my rainbow balloons rock painting I painted a blue sky and then added the balloons I'll include a link in the upper right hand corner for you to view the video Watch it all the way through, even after the uh, blue sky is done, so you'll be able to see how I incorporated the blue sky in the main subject banner. Remember to celebrate each other, celebrate your creativity, and remember to paint along the way.